so crazy. I'm crazy in love. All right, I just ordered the Uber. Do we have a joint account? Okay. I knew it. Don't go after a little pint of So we're not going out. Nope. Oh. No. Black dicks matter. <laughs> What up YouTube? It is just me right now because today is Lindsay's birthday! It's Cinco de Mayo, aka Cinco de Benny, because Lindsay's last name is Benny. It's 8 a.m. I just got back from the store because I obviously had nowhere to put these balloons, so I had to buy them the same day. I gave Lindsay a kiss on the cheek and I ran my errands. Now I am back to set up for her birthday. The gift that she really, really wanted that she's been talking about is a certification course to be a personal trainer. So that one isn't like a physical gift, but um, I am giving her that gift today because y'all have watched her grow a passion for fitness just like I have. Her passion for personal fitness is just insane. She researches and learns everything that she needs to know about it. I can't wait to watch her grow as a personal trainer and... I couldn't be happier to be able to be the person to give her that gift. Let's go set up. Oh yeah, and y'all have not seen our new table. So our table is actually made by a carpenter, the same one who did our coffee table. And our chairs are from Wayfair and we absolutely love it. And that base was only $20. <laughs> Obviously, I'm just gonna see oh, you know, like, and you give me a personal training. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get this study. <laughs> oh my god. Yes! I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! Yo! Yes! Yeah. <clears throat> These are fire. You're literally so cute. I cannot. These are fire. I'm so excited. Military Black, Jordan Forbes. I know they're old, but I've been wanting them. No way. I got more? Yeah. I Which one should I go first? Like them. Um, you can go with that one first. This one? Yeah. Just because that's the one that I'm unsure about. Oh, shit. Another pair? I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm <Me too>. sure. Because <laughs> I like picked it, but then I, later on, I didn't know about if you would like them. Oh, like shit. they're like a little different. Okay, babe. You like them? I like them. I'll figure out something. <laughs> oh, I love them. Thank you, babe. You're welcome. Those are fire. Oh, you're so sweet. Like a different color scheme. Yeah, other than my black and white. Yeah. I got threes. Oh, thank you, baby. I love them. I'm excited. You're the best. You don't have to get me two freaking pairs of shoes. You're sick. You're insane. Here. Love. Whoa. 
<laughs> Whoa! Big money! Yeah, I would oh. get like something that's like. Mmm, you said it already? Like masculine. <gasps> that's fire. That is so fire. You like it? it smells good. Maybe it's not like it. Mm -hmm. This one, because this is expensive. <laughs> Let me smell it. Let me smell it with you. Hold on, let it like. Oh my god. Mm, that smells really good. Ooh, that smells like a date night. Tonight! I know. I know! Thank you, baby. I love you. I love you. I'm so happy. You got a lot more to come tonight. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. Oh, hey. you can't get your flowers. I know my flowers. Those are beautiful. And we get to watch them bloom. Thank you, baby. I love you so much. This is this is more than enough. Oh, your my card. I didn't even read my card. Oh, I love you, baby. You're the best. I'm so so freaking thankful to have you. All right, y'all. So far, Cinco de Benny is going smoothly. Um, I can't wait for her to see what I got in store for her tonight. And I say tonight because Lindsay has to work today on her birthday. I know, working girl. That was silly of me. I should have taken it off, but it's okay. It's okay. I just got to do a little bit more and then I'm going to go to the gym. Actually, I'm going to go to the gym right now. Okay. I'm going to check in so I can let y'all know what I got for a surprise. What is it? <laughs> is it just a place that we're going to? That's the surprise. I guess you'll find out. Huh? Bah! Let me, let me, let me, let me get a better view. There we go. There Shiny we go. new steppers. Yeah. Yo, yeah. and how you gonna be walking? How you gonna walk around with your new shoes on? <laughs> All right. Set the scene. You going to work. You doing business casual, but you got D's on your feet. How you walk in? <laughs> oh, God. Come on. Get it together. Are you the president in the room? <laughs> Set the scene, you got your shoes on, it's date night, how you walking in? Hey, baby. I'm oh. gonna take you out. I like the confidence that came with that one. Yeah. All right, last scene. Set the scene. Um, let's pretend you don't suck at basketball and you playing in the championship game night and you walk in the stadium, how you do it? You walk in the gym. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. That girl look like that girl look like she shoot three. That girl look like she oh don't don't practice for real. Y'all ain't see that. She nobody really got no form yet. Yeah, I'm sucker basketball. She <laughs> said. <laughs> but yeah, I'm loving my shoes and my um, perfume slash cologne and my balloons and my cupcake and my girl and my flowers. You smell so good. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I love it. So proud of baby. You smell very good. Mm. You better put your hair in your pony. I like the pony. Mm -hmm. It's my new favorite look. I'm about to go to the gym. Let's go. I hope our, our focus is working this vlog. Because Lindsay fixed it because she was getting so aggravated with our focus. Bro. I think it looks good. I, I mean, it's on us. It's on two of us too, and not yeah, just one exactly. person at a time. It's like a main one and then like a yeah. smaller one. Good job, baby. He fix it. I don't know how y'all haven't even been checking us on our focus. Our whole video was blurry. <laughs> like the last vlog was insane. I was like, what? Like we don't look like we have forty thousand subscribers. <laughs> no, not gonna lie. The quality, the quality has been. Slowly decreasing. <laughs> yeah. Hope it's better now. You like one of them fine girls I would have had a crush on in high school. I am the fine girl that she would have had a crush on in high school. She ain't wrong. When you wait, you gotta go to the gym, right? Yeah. When you gonna um start my physical, my uh personal training. If y'all want Lindsay to be y'all personal trainer this year when she done with her course, of course. Ooh. You beat that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm saying a little joke, a little joke, a little point. A little point. A little point. <laughs> Comment below if you let Lindsay be your personal trainer. 
Period. Because <sighs> at the end of 2023, it's up. It's up. It's up. And it's stuck. It's up. And it's stuck. I can't wait. What do I do? I just go do it? I just order it? Yeah. You like go online, you buy the course. Well, I buy it and you start the course and you start studying and you pass your classes and then you become the best trainer ever exists! I'm so excited. I'm scared and nervous. Yeah, well, I think you're gonna kill it. Like, I know. You're literally the most driven person I know. Everything you do, you do it at your best ability. So I don't think there's any wrong you can do. Well, I have a good cheerleader, so. Hey, Vicky, you're so fine, you're so fine, you blow on my head, Vicky. Hey, Vicky, hey, 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 Vicky, hey, hey, you're so fine, you're so fine, you blow on my head, Vicky. Hey, 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 Vicky, hey, 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 you're so fine, you're so fine, you blow on my head, Vicky. Hey, 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 Vicky, hey, hey, Vicky, hey, hey. Hey Vicky, you're so fine, you're so fine, you blah blah blah. Hey Vicky. Y'all, right. we got so many talents. I be rapping, I, I be I be choreography and cheerleading moves. I be I don't know. Singing sometimes. Y'all be seeing all my talents on here. You be Don't hype me now, don't hype me now. I'll be with Bryson. And I be winning arguments. Don't hype me now, don't hype me now. Back from the gym. I got my leg pump on. Without my baby, it was crazy being at the gym. Bryson, get out. Bryson keeps jumping on the couch. He knows he's not supposed to do that. So yeah, it was crazy being at the gym without my baby on leg day. But I was craving some tacos, some breakfast tacos. So I'm gonna make them for myself. It's gonna be good. <laughs> birthday but I got home and she made some breakfast tacos that were the bomb so I just tore those up I told her when I got back I was like I was gonna make you protein pancakes but y'all know she loved cooking let's jump into her surprise or let me fill y'all in on what the surprise is Lindsay is currently upstairs taking a shower I'm going to clean deep clean because someone is coming over today Bet. okay she's still in the shower I thought I heard noise. I think it's Bryson. But here's what her birthday surprise is. And I hope y'all can hear me because I'm a little paranoid. So I'm whispering very lowly. A few weeks ago, I asked Lindsay what does she want for her birthday? And she said that she wanted, she just wanted to eat good food. So y'all know me. Instead of just taking her to a nice restaurant. Huh? Where is he? Bryson upstairs. Okay, so instead of just taking her to a nice restaurant, um, I hired a private. Okay. <laughs> Bye. I hired a private chef to come here tonight to our home, and I just told Lindsay to be ready for dinner by five because the chef comes at five. And, and the chef. Bet. Gotta make sure she can't hear me. Okay. And get this. The chef is the chef from this show that we watched on Netflix where Lindsay was like in love with her cooking. So not only is it gonna be a private dinner, but it's gonna be with a chef who she actually like loved her like cooking style and Every time that like made something, Lindsay would be like, oh my god, I would love to try her food. So tonight, she is going to try her food in a four course or five course dinner. I can't remember, but it's like four or five courses. And y'all know when it comes to getting gifts for my baby, I like to do things very intentional because that's how she receives love. So every single course 
is based off of Lindsay's favorite foods. So like, it's like her favorite foods, but baby. So like, one of the courses is steak taco, but it's like a fine wagyu steak taco, maple salsa, and then like, for dessert, she can never choose between strawberry and vanilla cake. So the chef is gonna do like, get creative and do her own spin on like the both of them with all these other fancy words but the menu looks insane but i cannot wait for her to see it because she is going to be shook and i'm just really excited to see that big kool-aid smell that she has all right package number one let's see what it is oh i literally ordered this what is that it's flask for um, Mexico, so we can save fill money. Up. Yep. Y'all know we try to budget a little bit. So we trying to get married, have a wedding, you uh, feel me? But we go to Mexico, so we were like, we're gonna figure out how much we want to spend in Mexico. Yeah. But I know I'm a drink, so I got these like plastic flasks. Yeah. We can put it in the freezer too and have like little slushies. Slushy. Yeah. Like this. We did end up budgeting the last time. Um, what was it? We went through our budget. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we did. And our financial advisor says that we're good to go for our wedding and our budget is pretty much what we thought it was gonna be. Yeah, but so. we have to cut back on certain spending like food, which is why our Mexico trip has been planned for months. Yeah. Um, we're going for a bachelorette, a lesbian bachelorette party, and y'all know we're going to bring y'all along. Of course. But that's why we're trying to save money on stuff like alcohol because that's one of those things that start adding up. Like, you don't the trip and you're like, I spent $300 on alcohol? Oh, like, I can't even imagine. I can't even yeah. imagine. So, so we're going to be very smart about it. Yeah, so, like, that is pretty much the only thing we can really kind of safe. Yeah, other than that, I think we, we are should. grocery shopping though. Mm -hmm. I saw an itinerary. And the other thing that we had to cancel, we planned on going to LA for Pride and we canceled it because we need to save money. Yeah, I don't know if we mentioned that before, but we probably said we were going to go to LA for Pride and we're not going to LA for Pride anymore. It's just too much. We can't do it right now. Yeah, we, we're just going to hold back on a lot of things that weren't already planned because we're big on spontaneous trips. That's our, that's like a big financial thing for us. Because you know, you we kind of be thinking like, you want to save money, but also you can't, money doesn't come with you when you die. Yes, and I still agree with that. But also, we always go on trips. I know, so, that's yeah. why we had to cancel LA yeah. though, because we both, like, we like talked that morning after we spoke with my, our financial advisor. And we were like, yeah, it's a no to L.A. If we go to L.A., we would be spending thousands that could go towards our wedding. Yeah. By the way, we're officially going to have our wedding next year, October. We don't have a, an actual date set. We have to figure it out with the venues. Yeah. But we're hoping that we can get it on our anniversary date because it falls on a Saturday. It would just be perfect. So we're like crossing our fingers at whatever venue we decide has that date available. She asked me to be her girlfriend on October 12th. I proposed first on October 12th, and then if we have our wedding on October 12th, it would be lit. I know a couple people have questions about how we do finances as a couple, so I figured this would be the perfect vlog to throw it in since we just met with our financial advisor. Do we have a joint account? And we do. Yeah, we actually just got a joint account when we bought our house. Even prior to that, we had our always really known kind of, well, we would be like, this is how much I have in savings. Yeah. Like, are we ready for the next step or whatever? But when we bought our house, um, Victoria suggested it. And, all, and at first I was like, I don't know. But then I, I, I was like, yeah, it's a good idea. Yeah. So then we just put a certain, we have a note of all of our monthly house bills. Like everything you can think of from the cable to the people that come cut our grass. To Bryson's grooming. Yeah. Like anything that we split, like really. So, and then we have the total monthly house bill and each month we put that amount into our joint account. And then all of our monthly house bills are auto pay or if they're not auto pay, we just use that debit card. I love it because one, my the amount of money that i pay for bills comes out of my account my checking account monthly automatically automatically we do still have our own separate individual accounts like we don't have like all of our money in one place 
but also we feel like it helps us stay organized like to know what money is going where all the money that's not split each month is your money like you could do yeah. whatever you want with that you yeah. know like so i like that we still have our own but the joint account is very convenient and we every time like a new expense kind of comes up i we just add it to the shared note and then we'll reevaluate how much we should be putting into our joint account each month yeah if the number has like changed next year or something. Financial trust is so important. Like when people talk about like communication, trust, they're talking about financial trust too. We talk about how much we make. We talk about how much we're spending. We talk about everything because if we don't, like you need the other person as your partner. Yeah. We've been watching How to Get Rich. How to Get Rich with that financial advisor guy. He's really good. Like. And we've been learning a lot. Vlog's gonna be late next week. Yeah, next week vlog will be probably on Wednesday because we'll like just be coming back from Mexico. You heard it here first. Wednesday, May 16th. Because we're literally gonna still be in Mexico. All right, I just ordered the Uber. Okay, so what do you think we're doing for your birthday? I have absolutely no idea, I already told you. <laughs> okay, where do you think we're going? I have no idea. <laughs> I, there's not a guess in the world. I've just been waiting to get surprised. Okay. Are you about to tell me? Yeah. Okay, I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> you have no idea. Cause sometimes I feel like I like talk too much about one thing and it kind of starts to give it away. I mean, I'll, I'll tell you if I think I know. Or if I, I'll be honest, and if, if you say what it is, and I was thinking that, then I'll tell you. Okay. Say, three, two, one. Okay. Three, two, one. Me and you both. What do you think it is? Tell me. Just say it. Three, two, one. Chef Renee. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Okay. All right, so tell me, is there anything I need to know about the kitchen space? Lindsay will tell you anything she need to know. You need to know, because I don't be in there. Um, no, I mean, okay. Like any, like, what do you mean? So, <laughs> <laughs> like if something don't work? Like yeah. if something doesn't work, or if like, I just need to be a little bit mindful, you know, yeah. or something. No, I mean, so far so good. I've only been cooking in here for like a month or yeah. like and a half. So cool. if I haven't caught it, maybe you will today. <laughs> Hopefully you don't. Hopefully, okay, right? Right? Yeah, let's hope there's nothing wrong. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Yeah, we finally just got that. So that's We good. literally were obsessed with you in um Really? I'm obsessed cooking. with you guys. No, like, bro, that was that was so so I'm like, holy like, shit. No, we was watching it like we want her to win, please. Yeah, I get that every time. You do? Like, Y'all. If you ain't watch Pressure Cooker, yeah. watch it. You Chef Renee. Need to watch. Honestly, Pressure Cooker though, the just the show in general is so good. Like so really good. I've never seen a cooking really show good. like that. Yeah, it. that was crazy. But I'm wow, yeah, myself. it's so nice to meet you. Hey, we gonna eat with flavor. It's gonna be sexy. It's gonna be sexy. <laughs> All right, did she? Did you already tell them the backstory? Or like what? Like who she is and everything. A little bit, but you could go on. Okay. One thing about me is that I love like cooking shows like every cooking show you see on netflix i've watched it all like i'd be like i need to find new cooking shows they're just like my comfort show anyway so we watched pressure cooker she was on pressure cooker and, and we were obsessed we, we binged it in like a day and all her food looked so good so good and then she was like like on our instagram or whatever like commenting and so you got her here that's crazy yeah i actually got it Flew her here. Lindsay was like, "How did she get here? Does she live in Atlanta? No, she lives in New York. I wish she lived in Atlanta." You're crazy. She's so crazy. I'm crazy in love. 
You're so crazy. <laughs> The menu is based off of all of Lindsay's favorite foods. Yeah! We're so excited. Thanks, baby. I'm so happy. I'll do anything for you. I'll do anything for you. Anything. Like buy one of your favorite chefs to our house to cook for you. I got you. You got me. <laughs> yeah, with my lips. She got me. So for your first course this evening, we have a spiced tuna tartare. A fresh guac on there with a little bit of salmon roe and some crispy rice paper. Oh my god. Enjoy. What? That looks so bomb. Yeah, that looks fire. Bomb. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh my god, okay. Mm -hmm. How did you do it? You put oh, it on wow, top that's of good, there. Mm -hmm. Oh, bit. Same wow, that's good. Wow, it's good. Mmm. Mmm. I like the little chip too because it's like that's just delicious. Like a vessel, basically. Wait, what is this? It's rice paper. This is good. Yeah, just like not too much, you know what I'm saying? It's so flavorful. Mm. So have you guys ever had a chef come over before? No. no we haven't. We went to a uh, um Cooking class. Yeah, yeah. We, she was cook. We were cooking. We were helping. So she wasn't <laughs> like helping. We yeah. were helping. So she, she did a lot of it. But like, <laughs> but it was like a class almost. But it was good. It was um Cuban food. Couples mm -hmm. cooking class. Oh. I'm, I'm just very much a reserved person when it comes to food. So. Really. What do you What do you mean by that? Um, like I'm, I'm not. Ooh, I want to learn how to make. This. Mm -hmm. I feel like if I was in Italy and hang out with someone's grandmother, I totally would be wrapped up into it, like, yeah, you know, get your hands dirty and all that stuff. But cooking classes here. Yeah. So, how do you learn about like trying? Yeah, okay. you got to. Okay, yeah. How did you get into this, into cooking? Um, my mom worked two jobs. It was me and my little brother. He was my guinea pig. And <laughs> you know, he ate everything. So he was living a <laughs> life. Yeah, he was living a life. Are y'all so close? Um, no, so we are two hours apart. Oh, right. And Wait, two hours apart? Not by birth. Oh, I was like, right. what? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? What is this? <laughs> so, you know, it's just, you know, it's a lot to make a commute to see family mm -hmm. sometimes. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah. eight hours from mine. They're all, I, I mean, 12 hour drive. They're in Miami. Mm -hmm. Okay. So for your second course, you have a nice A5 Wagyu taco that has been glazed with a little bit of sriracha, sweet chili, soy, and sesame, and there's some fresh mango salsa. Enjoy. Thank you. Oh my I god. I wanted to fry it, but I remember you said nothing fried. Oh, okay. I like, appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah. I Although, on my birthday, diet. I was like. Oh, you was willing a while out? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I was but trying to look out for you. So that was sweet. Okay, you want to try it? Yeah, cheers. Cheers. Let me know if you guys need like any fresh lime or. Mm. This is so good. That's good. So what did you, what were you going to fry? The, um, the skin. The what is the skin? What is the taco shell itself? Yeah. What is it? So it's nori. It's and nori. it's ripe rice paper. So we usually put it together and let it air dry. Uh -huh. And then we fry, like deep fry it until it's like super, super crunchy. Amazing. I didn't think I would like mango salsa on a taco, but I really do. I don't like it at all. What? You don't? Know? Nope. How you don't like it? Um. It's not everything? It's mango. You don't like mango? Where are you from? Barbados. That's insane. And you don't like mango? Everyone says the same thing. Insane. I don't like mango, I don't like banana, and I don't like okra. So how do you, when you taste it, it, it doesn't taste, does it taste good to you? Like I wonder, like, can you taste it? It tastes good? Uh, when I eat the mango, like in something like this, because there's so many distractions mm -hmm. in it, um, mm -hmm. I can indulge. Can I flip it off the plate? Yes. You know, get that out there. Mango is one of the best fruits, un unarguably. We judging. It's good for margaritas. Lindsay is funny, okay? I can okay. You see what I mean? Like, she's okay, just girl. goofy, like, you gonna laugh. <laughs> Listen, laughing is everything. People, just, people take it for granted. Yeah, yes, that's true. People really do. That's true. For your entree this evening, we have a Hawaiian braised short rib with 
buttered mashed potatoes, and a bit of um, roasted Brussels sprouts. I know. Thank I had to add it actually. You did? Yeah. Oh, babe, you're so nice. She hit you with like Brussels sprouts. I'm traumatized from Brussels sprouts. I actually yeah. enjoy them. I like them fried. Yeah, oh I enjoy God. them, but I have a bad experience after eating them because apparently they make you really gassy. Oh, yeah. Experience. Yeah, that's. I didn't know. And I ate a shit ton she of She had a bad Was experience. this like before a flight or something? This was like 2020. Like... And I ended up like, it was a, it was a whole experience. Cheers. I got a big bite. You got a ginormous bite. Mm. Oh, that's fire. Mm. That's so good. Happy campers? Mm. Tastes like it's falling off the bone. Mm. Ain't no bones, but it's falling off. There's usually a bone that's in oh. it. I cook it, pull them out. Oh, that's it, lit. Press it down, and then I freeze them so I can get those nice cuts. Oh my god. Then so you good. Them. What is that? That one spice that I'm tasting? Like cinnamon. Yeah, so I'm like cinnamon. Like it tastes like Thanksgiving. There's cinnamon, almost. And there's mm. um star anise. Oh yeah, that? yes. Oh. What's star anise? I don't know, but I've heard about <laughs> so it. So it's sort of like a if you were to <laughs> She's smoke, talking about oh like she know. What's star anise? <laughs> anise, A and I. Oh anise. See, like, I don't know. Um so it it, it kinda smells like clove and licorice. Yes, 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 yes. But that's the flavor that really kinda It's like Homey and like oh it tastes bomb. Whatever that is, you need to put it in your little that kitchen is, spices. I do. That you got in the corner. But I have to know how to work it because that's a particular just spice. Whatever you do, just boil it. Boil it? Yeah, just boil it. Mm, that tastes so good. Whatever. If you want to do a stew or something like that, just throw it because it's like a little star. Mmm. Okay. Just throw it in there. And let it do so this. good. Mmm. And there's also ginger in there too. <gasps> yes. Oh, this yes. tastes like. I don't even, like the homiest meal you've ever had. Like, and you comfort. love like braised you know rib and mashed potatoes. Yeah. So it's just perfect that it's the best braised rib you've ever had. It is. It literally is. All right. For your sweet finale, we have a nice vanilla cake with some macerated strawberries. It has a little bit of elderflower juice as well as some fresh lemon juice. And there is a bit of a berry mousse on there. Ooh, thank you. Oh, that looks so good. It's amazing. Thank you, by the way. You're Thank very, very welcome. Ooh, what you trying first? The cake? Yeah, a cake with everything. With everything. Okay, yeah, I'll go with everything. Loose, little strawberry. Ooh, where you got these strawberries from? You think kind of fresh. <laughs> I swear yes. you don't need no fresh strawberries at the grocery store. Really? <laughs> I, I, I look at them. Oh my God, what is that? And I dig mm. from the bottom. Is it the is it the purple stuff? Yeah, that's the most. Oh yeah. You oh my God, that is delicious. Yes, please. That's, that is so sweet and like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but like not super sweet. So I don't like desserts to be overly sweet or rich. That oh, is so good. Right Thank you. Oh, that's good. How did you like your birthday then? I loved it. I'm so happy. That was insane. I'm so happy. The food was amazing. I got to meet Chef Renee. She was literally in our kitchen cooking. And what more could you ask for? Yeah. What was your favorite? Um, Course. The short rib. Bomb, y'all. She was eating it from my plate. And I was like, because y'all know Lindsay eat fast and I eat slow. And I'm like, I want that. It was so good. My favorite was the dessert. Really? What? Oh my God. I've never had cake that like airy because like I like cake, but I also don't like the thickness that comes. Like pancakes. I don't like pancakes because they're so thick. The cake was like air. But like not air like it wasn't like that airy but like you know yeah I don't know. and that mousse i could have it ate it so off the bag good. yeah the mousse was amazing that short rib was like insane though and it was like tender and like falling off the bone juicy it was so good it was perfect and she and we also and the tuna tartare was really good too. oh yeah the tuna tartare was a close second for me like that was really good tuna tartare with the like just a little crisp um rice cake mm -hmm. mm. the steak was insane oh yeah so good i love steak i wanted to ask her more about being on the show but we were mm. just like talking so much about just like a bunch of everything everything anything so like of. we would like get off on tangents and stuff but you did ask some really cool questions i wanted to know like how it was like with the pe other people on the show and like 
she was saying something about production, but then we went off on something yeah. else. It was the best surprise. Like, it was so cool. Good. Such a cool experience. Very fun. Um, You're the best. Oh, and, and we finished a bottle of champagne. The champagne bottle was empty, gone, finito. Look at these gorgeous champagne glasses I got us. Like, those are so pretty. That's so cute, babe. Yeah. I thought that was like something that somebody got us. No, I got us. it for us um, when I went to Pawn City Market because she was there. I had already booked her. Remember when I was like, ooh, I got us some new champagne glasses because yeah. we didn't have any. And I had learned it with the videographers and I was like, okay, we need champagne glasses for the dinner so oh, we can be fancy. Oh, you're so cute. I wanted it to be fancy. Like we had a five-star restaurant in our house. It was. It was exactly like that. Good. Good. Because you deserve five-star treatment, baby. I got it. You did. Tomorrow's going to be crazy because tonight was just us romantic and fun and vibes and moody mm -hmm. and perfect. And tomorrow will be Lindsay's other side. These are like your two sides who, of who you are. Who? You're like romantic with me and like, oh. well, obviously, yeah, obviously you're, you're like crazy and you party with me, but like tomorrow you're going to be like feral. <laughs> or is it feral? Feral. Feral. You're going to be feral tomorrow. You're going to be unhinged. Like the, I don't even think you'll remember it by Sunday. I will. Good morning. Good morning. What are we doing? Well, it's 9 a.m. I ended up having really bad anxiety last night. So this morning I went for a run and I had a lot of cuddles with my baby last night. And Lindsay just made a cup of, cup of joe. <laughs> my mom got me a Keurig for my birthday. We had a Keurig, but when we moved, it was like moldy. So I threw it out. Um, and this was actually my brother's old Keurig. My mom was like, I'm going to gift it to you, but if you <laughs> if you stop using it, you need to give it back. Like, don't, <laughs> she's basically saying, like, don't give it away. She always yeah. says, I'm going to give stuff away. Her mom does not like wasting anything. Totally. Yeah, like, especially this. my brother's. Hair bracelet. Something. Something. Um, so, but yeah, I I'm didn't excited. know that was your brother's Keurig. Mm -hmm. I thought that was just a random Keurig. No, it was his when we, like, when we got all this stuff from his apartment. It was, it was in there. She knows you're not giving that away. I would never. She gave me a reusable K cup, so I just put the coffee in it, so that's good. Eco friendly. That is cool. She's gonna go get her makeup done, and then we're gonna go to a pool party, and then tonight we're gonna go to my party. And we haven't like been out like that. Yeah, like y'all know us. We don't <laughs> like, we be bailing. Last night we were, I was like, I texted Taylor, my best friend, I'm like, what are you doing? She's like, I'm going here and going, here, like, telling me the moves. Mm -hmm. You should come. I never responded. We went yeah, to sleep. Yeah, we went to sleep. And yeah. She don't care, though. I'm excited to, like, party with you. It's been a minute. Mm -hmm. I'm excited, actually. Mm -hmm. Usually, I, I, like, am ner like, not nervous, but, yeah. like, I don't like doing things for me. Because um, I just want everybody to have a good time, you know? Mm -hmm. And, like, I feel like I get... You know, I'm just wanting to make sure people have a good time if it's my party or something. But I don't feel like that today. I'm just like, whatever. She doesn't like being the center of attention, which is why. Y'all know I proposed in our house. We just did a private dinner here last night. It's just because it is something that Lizzie prefers. Like, she doesn't mind going out and stuff. No, but... yeah, I go out. I just like, yeah. I don't. When it's for her. So like, yeah. if someone invited us to a birthday dinner, like, no big deal. But if it's like yeah. her birthday dinner, it's like. It makes her very anxious. Yeah. <laughs> so typically we do something like just with ourselves on her birthday. So today doesn't really feel like her birthday party, even though it, it is her birthday party. But so. also it's like we're going to the karaoke lounge and it's like you just entertain yourself in a way. You know, like yeah, I don't, I everybody's going to be like chilling. Like everybody's going to be vibing. They're yeah. not just going to be like, oh, Benny. Da, da, da. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You ready for the pool? Alright, I got my um Bass Pro Shop hat on. Yeah. The crossover. <laughs> I got my Target Tank, you already know. Nike shorts. Forces. Period. Period. I got on a bathing suit little combo from Shein. It got little flares on the pants and it's like ombre. Show them my ombre. Period. And then I got on Birkenstock sandals because I don't have no cute sandals and I need to buy cute sandals. 
if y'all know like if y'all like recommend certain sandal brands please let us know because show them my sandals again like i got on jesus sandals with a cute outfit like go scale go up slow like go down to the feet like it's jesus down there and then cute cute giving body giving face Bam. all right all right that's too much not too much now nah. not too much now nah. yeah you look pretty though thank you so we're waiting for victoria's friend kiani she's on her way she should be here soon and then we're gonna go to the pool for the pool party <laughs> I'm down for speech. No, fuck that. Okay, okay so actually, why are you actually, actually, speech is more, 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 more personal. Yeah, I agree. I'll take speech. I would, hey, I think you would be a good officiate. If like you feel like I cut off. Too boring. Oh, okay. You don't want to. Not enough. Like, yeah, I just yeah, wanted yeah. to make sure I was invited to the wedding. But that why? Was my <laughs> you're already on the guest list. You're literally on the guest list. What's up, baby? He's my honorary brother. I told her how you were showing him pictures of the ring at karaoke night. I did, because I trust him and I love him. <laughs> exactly, yes. Yeah, y'all, Dakota knew all this. This is the first time I've seen that. I, oh, a lot. I guess she cut her hair off, and she was trying to be. And she had the fair room. What? Did you um, say that? No. But she had the 25-inch no. somewhere. No. <laughs> you acted different. Oh, my God. Yeah. There you go. I was mad. You left me first. <laughs> <laughs> Cannonball! Cannonball or bust? <laughs> so, oh, so we at the pool party for Dakota and Lindsay. Maddie's supposed to be saving the holes and stuck in the pool. Look at her. But Maddie was you. Doing none for free. Maddie, go jump in the pool, save your friend for five dollars. I ain't going nowhere. No, I'm for five. gonna five dollars. Five dollars was insane. I, I can't even get another outfit for. I can't even get the towel to drive me off for five dollars. Like, can't even.
Something what, bro? Like what? What does that even mean? Five dollars, bro. You don't need five dollars. You got money, bro. You can't. I'm, I'm broke. I'm no, you're with. not. I'm broke. Don't I'm speak that. Don't Bobby, we don't that. speak that. Like, meanwhile, did y'all see girl over here passed out? She is. She just turned. She's asleep. Oh, yeah. oh, I see. Oh. Oh, yeah. 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 We get stage fright. We do this. something green. Isn't that cute? Oh my god, that's so cute. I love it. You got it. That's a wrap. <laughs> y'all. Y'all. I had a time last night. Yeah. It is now what time? Nine something. It's 9 p.m. We could not even afford to check in with y'all. But yeah, it was so fun. Like, I just had the best birthday ever. I'm just so thankful and blessed and thankful to you, my babe, for making it so special. Of course, of course, of course. How did you like karaoke? It was so fun. I want to go back. <laughs> Do you remember it? No. <laughs> Y'all, I told Lindsay when we were in the car leaving karaoke, because I didn't drink at karaoke, so I was like, because I like to go home. Y'all know me. I want to be able to go home and not wait on an Uber. But, um... In the car on the way back, y'all, she was about, like, she was crying. Like, she was, like, she sang Eminem, Hush Little Baby, what's that song called? Mockingbird. Mockingbird, right? But 
So you want to tell him what happened? I was like so, just so lit and I couldn't keep up with the words and it was bad. And I guess I was saying that I had practiced. Yeah, she goes, I practiced it for weeks just for tonight. And I just, she said, I had stage fright. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was I did. so cute. It was so cute. But yeah, no, she did a really good job, honestly. I don't know what she was complaining about. Everyone loved her performance, especially me. I was like backup dancer, cameraman, um, groupie, manager. I had a lot of roles last night. Yeah, you did. You did them all really well, too. Did them all. So what would you say? How do you think your birthday weekend was? Out of 10. Out of 10. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10? Yes, of course. 10 out of 10. What was your favorite part? Mm-hmm. Uh, like our night, our night on Friday. Really? Mm-hmm. Are you gonna say karaoke? Mm-mm. I mean, karaoke was very fun, but I enjoyed just like our whole day on Friday. Like my actual birthday was fun, That's and the okay. surprise was so amazing. And just getting to meet Chef Renee and talk to her and eat her food like this that was so crazy and fun. And just that whole day, like we had a good day. We had a good weekend. Crazy weekend. Went from romantic to crazy to insane mm-hmm. to chill. Today was recovery day. Yeah, it was nice. It was very nice. Glad you enjoyed it, baby. Yeah. Thanks so much. I love you. I love you. But, yeah, we're going to end the vlog here. We hope y'all enjoyed it. We love you guys so much. We'll see you next Tuesday. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, Subscribe. Period. Bye.